That is bad. She could bite concrete, bro. And today, we got The Dumbest Internet Trends by G Grimy. Let's get into this reaction. No, oh, once again, one curse equals three push-ups. I just came back from the gym and did 18 push-ups on my last one. I would really not, I would really like to not do more push-ups. Let's, uh... Hey, birds of a feather flock together. And I guess that also applies to dodo birds because over the years, there have been more crack brain trends than flavors of Ben and Jerry's ice cream, bro. It's like a disease awesome. of lunacy that spread over the internet quicker than some dollar store lotion or something. Some of these heedless activities I've seen on the internet over the past couple years has really made me think that Charles Darwin's theory of evolution was inscribed backwards. I'm 100% certain without a shadow of a doubt that most- Oh my god, do y'all remember that? The girl that was licking, bro, that's- that had me upset, bro. That had- that had me upset, Trans are just people conducting the most rancorous ventures known to man. So today, we'll be discussing some of the most unadorned and imbecilic trends that have ever- Unadorned and imbecilic. Yo, your vocabulary is crazy ever transpired on the internet as well as the complications and hindrances that they cause comment down below the worst trends that you've ever seen on the internet and like and subscribe if you're new for sure First, we gotta talk about eating do i got you do i got you i'm pretty sure i subscribe <clears throat> yeah i'm subscribed all right iPods. the fact that this caught enough wind to be con oh i remember this and that's gonna get me demonetized i'm a player so the trend is agitating enough Enough on its own bro there's an entire wikipedia page about this shit bro like who the fuck woke up one day and was like i wonder what these forbidden gushers taste like and just started going to town on them all ah stop bro. motherfuckers don't get me wrong though those tie pods are probably healthier than most of the bullshit that's in food anyway if you look at the back of a granola bar or something you're bound to find all types of inscrutable and lengthy ingredients that you've I agree, but like you can't put a granola bar in a washing machine and successfully wash a load of clothes. That's that's crazy. Renew your channel membership never heard of straight up harry potter spells and shit bro but that still doesn't give you the excuse to start downing tide pods like they're pizza rolls i vividly remember back in 2018 when this trend i ain't gonna lie the tide pods did kind of look like pizza rolls but like i ain't gonna... started going viral and turned into a whole ass challenge i'm not even the type of person to victim blame but at this point it's just natural selection most definitely natural selection bro. and most of the niggas that are participating in this cesspool stupid there's no way she is going to take a handful of these out and eat them i swear to god she is reaching into this hole like a chicken, like a KFC bucket, bro. Pity we're over the age of it. Yeah, at least 14. Ah, that's gonna get me demonetized or something. AKA, old enough to know not to try this foolishness. This is why you've always got to manage what your kids are watching because you probably think they're watching Peppa Pig. Whole time, them niggas are watching videos on how to send themselves to the Lord quicker than Amazon Prime, bro. And don't get me wrong, I remember when I was a kid, motherfuckers were eating Play Doh like it was some lavish snack. But that's different. That's that's completely different. You're, you will literally. Play with Play-Doh and make an ice cream cone out of it. I can understand someone eating that out of curiosity. A Tide Pod? A Tide Pod? Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? But this about? is just maniacal, bro. But then again, these were the same people who, oh my God. who are downing bleach like a Capri Sun or something. There's no way this video is monetized. There's no way this video is monetized. When shit like this started going viral, that was a clear sign that I was getting older because there's no way these knucklehead McFazitrons were sending themselves to the ER just for a couple of views. Now we gotta talk about that stupid ass crate challenge. This challenge was a definition of fuck around and find. I would keep it 100 with y'all. I would keep it 100 with y'all. I wanted to do the crate challenge. The only thing that kept me from doing it is the access to the crates. I'm not gonna lie. You, you would have caught me doing the crate challenge. You, you would have. And my, my big ass has no business standing on a bunch of crates no business i'm not find out everybody and their mama was doing this shit bro young people old people did. aunties uncles senior citizens the dumb assery was peaking at immeasurable heights seriously bro you had some of the most uncoordinated people that i think I she got no business being on this crate though no business I've ever seen in my life try to ascend this oh. tower of crates and then we'll be surprised when they would fall and crash harder than the economy in 2007 and then the people watching got the nerve to say oh you were so close my nigga close to what the pearly gates not to be mentioned yeah. they used to be shaking like yeah. an iron deficient yeah. stripper when they would reach the top and i couldn't help but cringe every time i would see these niggas fold themselves like origami the poses that these motherfuckers were ending up in would make a yoga instructor jealous is sending yourself to the er really worth their 15 seconds of fame fortunately nobody was sent to the afterlife but there were people left paralyzed i know the nurses and doctors were working over time to tend to these niggas bro but i have one question for the class where the hell is everybody getting these crates from that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying the only thing that kept me from doing it was the access to the crates they had to be hitting licks to no end bro or they were planted there by the government i'm not really sure but anyway why were so many people performing in these ghetto ass olympics anyway like it doesn't even Ooh. seem fun or congenial in any way shape or form this clip was pretty funny though what's wrong okay when i came down <laughs> That's funny. That's funny, bro. Now we gotta talk about plastic surgery. The fact that this phenomenon has occurred enough for me to come on, bro. That don't even look like call us a trend is vexing enough. Now, if you see, 
Yo. This video, then you're already informed about how I feel about these blithering BBL buffoons. I've never been able to decipher why people feel the need to mutilate their bodies. I've seen some of the most disfigured. Oh my god, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, love yourself, bro. Love yourself. Love yourself, go to the gym and eat right. You don't, you don't gotta do this. And disproportionate entities to ever grace the globe. Yeah. They in this bitch looking like rejected bug life characters, oh bro. I'm talking god. straight bedrock booty. Why can't people just be happy with the bodies they were blessed with instead of turning themselves into a low budget kick Patowski? And it'd be one thing if you weren't really able to tell if they got surgery, but most of the people who go under the knife and they're botching themselves completely. Yo. And I hope Yo. I'm not the only person who finds these prosthetic pampers repulsive anyway. I couldn't imagine blowing a couch tuition just to look like a fucking wisdom tooth. I'd rather have my girl be built like a telephone pole than a science experience gone wrong who's getting turned on by shit like this bro actually i'll take that back because i've encountered some niggas who would fuck a bed bug if it gave them the chance and it doesn't stop with the bbls because motherfuckers are turning their faces into that's it yeah, that's that that is crazy i'm not gonna lie picasso paintings and shit i don't know if y'all remember this but a couple picasso years back paintings. there was a guy who got a magnitude of work done to his face and claimed that he was transracial Oh yeah, the white guy that tried to be Asian, right? And identifies as a Korean man. Now last yep. time I checked, I'm pretty sure I'm not Korean, but if I had to take a shot in the dark, I'd probably say that a couple surgeries to make your eyes slimmer doesn't exactly make the cut. But if you're a Korean and watching this video, let me know. But apparently he also wants to get a different kind of surgery to become 100% Korean. Penis reduction. That's, he's committed to the bit. I ain't gonna lie. That's, wow. Huh. Yeah, I'm about to go that's, gouge my eyes out with the- How? That's not even, like, I know it's a stereotype, but, like, being transracial and then proceeding to indulge in a stereotype is crazy. The rusty spoon. And then there was an entire Dr. Kim situation where he was- Bro must be lucky to reduce. I need all the inches. <laughs> Yeah, it just despair. Absolutely morphing niggas' faces and turning them into Muppets. And I'm pretty sure I don't need to go into convoluted detail about lip fill. I said A word earlier. No, I didn't. And face reductions and the extreme liposuction. Walking around looking like Candy White from Flapjack. But at the end of the day, if this is what you want for yourself, then by Jove, go right ahead. And hey, if you don't want to take my word for it, just listen to Kylie Jenner. She's happy with the way God created her. It's not like she's got... I mean, God created her with bread so she could get plastic surgery. What are we talking about? So much about? plastic in her body that she's going to need to be recycled when she passes away. Now we got to talk about the gallon smashing trend. Now in the past, what? I've already elucidated my thoughts on working what in retail that? and the anguish that it caused me. But I couldn't imagine if someone came in and just obliterated some milk cartons for content and now... I nope, can't, can't do that. Nope. Nope, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. Gotta clean it up. If you're one of the people that found these videos comical, I know you're actively munching on crayons as we speak. I remember this was a thing back when Vine was still around, but for some reason it came back like the Terminator yeah, or something. No. I don't even know how these videos were going viral to begin with. Oh, look at me. I pretend to fall nope. and throw my milk nope. comically high in the air. Little, 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 wee. And then they'd be taking <laughs> advantage of the nice people who actually believe that they fell and try to help them up. Is this even class? That's so corny, bro. That's so corny. Orange, bro. That's why it's a prank. Because last time that I checked, pranks were supposed to result in both respective parties having a grand old time. Nowadays, it's just people going out in public and doing shit like this. Plus, buying groceries costs more than a fucking mortgage at this point, so this is just ignorant, bro. Now we gotta talk about when people were... Yeah, because they're not paying for it. They're not paying for it. That's licking ice cream and no i'm not talking about when the I fake ass npcs this. were licking imaginary this. ice cream talking about ice cream so good i'm talking about when niggas were cracking ice cream cartons open like a legend of zelda and this hit me this hit me because ice cream is my singular favorite food of all time like that -da -oh, almost cursed genuinely bro if i could only eat ice cream and still hit my macros i i, I would have zero problem doing it <clears throat> this got me tight because it had me paranoid when i was buying bro in my H-E-B, not H-E-B, in my Walmart, they put locks on the ice cream. Like, that's how bad it got. You had to ask an associate to get ice cream. Chest and dragging their duck. Ariana Grande did it? I don't know. Pussy ass tongues all over the surface of ice cream like they're trying to roll the fattest backwood, bro. Similar to our last talking point, this once again comprised of people recording so themselves being stupid. absolutely gormless inside grocery stores. I really think this is what prompted the COVID-19 pandemic to start in the first place. These troglodytes should have been expunged from the globe completely. And this really grinds my gears because if you know me, you know I love ice cream more than Joe Biden does. That's what I'm saying. Like imagine trying to get some scrumptious and delectable ice cream after a hard day's work. Unbeknownst to you, that shit's laced with all types of germs and pathogens, bro. This is why I reach as far as I can to the back when shopping for food. But I'm be honest, if you're buying food that isn't sealed in any fashion, you're a bold individual. But speaking of licks, now we gotta talk about Lick. devious uh -huh. licks. Now oh, I remember this. The devious lick stuff. I remember. I wasn't in school during this, but I remember. Now y'all know I hate school as much as the next man, but the thought of plundering a soap dispenser or anything from school has never crossed my mind. These videos I was seeing on the internet were absolutely preposterous, bro. Since this. when did it become... 
they come cool to commit crimes. Exactly. Luckily, this trend never really caught wind in my school, except for the fact that <clears throat> niggas were nabbing soap dispensers like they were free samples from Costco. And since our school didn't believe in the well-being and prosperity of their students, they never replaced them. But like I said earlier, the videos I was seeing were nothing short of nefarious. Niggas were stealing desks, whiteboards, fire alarms, stall doors, entire toilets. It was getting ridiculous, bro. bro. But what absolutely bamboozled me was the fact that niggas were still dropping deuces broad day with no regard. These niggas had no shame. But the people destroying the bathroom were looking like Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob when they was leaving that hotel. I was questioning how they were even getting yeah. access to such items, let alone leaving the school with them. Like, how do you leave the school with an entire water fountain in your hands? That's but you know these deals were malevolent when TikTok themselves wiped the entire challenge from their app like some Windex. But that still didn't stop these maniacal motherfuckers from just... Okay, we used to do this, though. We used to do this, though. Wet the um the paper towels and then throw it at the walls. We did used to do that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not... I did partake in that. Destroying their schools bit by bit like a fucking game of Jenga. Now we gotta talk about gender reveal parties. Now look, don't get me wrong. Bro, I feel like the most calm gender reveal nowadays is taking three tons of pink powder, going in a plane, and then going over Hiroshima, and then letting the rest be told. That is a gender reveal party now. The idea and concept of a gender reveal party is totally fine. If y'all want another excuse to get together and eat cake like the big blubber <laughs> back ass individuals you are, then be my guest. And for the most part, gender reveal parties are pretty harmless. But it seems like over the past several years, these parties have been like, bro, bro, that looks like a WWE intro, bro. More dramatic than a high school play. Like these parties really be looking like fake ass WWE entries. Mm. Yo, me and Grimy like this, bro. Me and Grimy like this. Gr Come on, bro. Oh, that was tough. That was, hey, grimy. Hey, bro. This is, bro. Now, for this next exercise, I want you to watch the video that will transpire on the screen. Trust me. There is absolutely no reason at all for your gender reveal to look like this. This is egregious. Bro, it looked like they just summoned the Colossal Titan, bro. That's not normal. That's that's not normal. Bro, like, bro, bro, bro. Oh my God. It's still going. Is that not insane? Now I'm sure some of you will probably come to the conclusion that I'm just hating. But when you got JJ the jet plane tooting out blue smoke polluting all the air within a 20 mile radius, it's a little OD. The earth is already more tainted than the Taco Bell toilet, but now we gotta worry about bushfires and random ass explosions. But the most perturbing thing about these gender reveals videos is when the fathers Why did they stop doing cake? That's what I'm saying. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Clearly pissed off that they're having a daughter. That baby got a World War Three intro. Sorry. I understand that most of the time the dad must have a son and the mother must have a daughter, but to be throwing a temper tantrum when you find that you're having a daughter is vacuous. Like a I Imagine making the daughter of one of these motherfuckers to sing the video of your dad falling to his knees like Walter White. That's fucked up, bro. Now we gotta talk about the cinnamon challenge. Now, now this is a little bit of a throwback, but if you were on the internet at the time, you're- This video went triple platinum, bro. This is- this has gotta be one of the most iconic videos on the internet. Remember that this challenge had the internet in a bigger chokehold than Darth Vader, bro. Once again, these videos- Chokehold was a great choice of words, my brother. This were comprised of people damn near offing themselves on camera. Now this challenge wasn't as serious because the individual could just grab some water and save themselves from affliction and anguish, and the people that were performing this challenge used to be talking hella shit just for them to shit the bed like Amber Heard, bro. And plus I learned that cinnamon comes from tree bark, so niggas were pretty much ingesting spicy sawdust. Now we gotta talk about veneers. Now this is a- Uh, I mean, eh. The trend that's suddenly taking the world by storm, and that's predominantly due to Atlanta pioneering the occupation of a veneer technician. Now, what is a veneer technician, you may ask? Well, apparently niggas are taking this Team Umizumi ass course in five minutes, and are now licensed to start ruining- <laughs> Oh, no. Oh, no. She looked like a fairly odd parent's character, bro. That is- Bad. Teeth left and right. No joke, these motherfuckers are setting up shop in their fucking basement aren't just a She could bite concrete, bro. Oh, yo, yo, add teeth. What are we talking about? Hatching all type of fragments into people's mouths, bro. And then they got the nerve to hand out this deceitful ass diploma that's worth about as much as a slap in the face. This is like when Gumball found out that Principal Brown's diploma was painted to his damn wall. It takes years to become a dentist, let alone a dentist who can distribute veneers. But nah, let me hit up my homegirl Destiny to get acrylic yeah. paint on my teeth. Now, in my humble opinion, veneers are already grotesque as hell. Like, why would I pay an arm and a leg just to look like Dr. Bender. I know it takes every particle of your fairly odd parents character. Mo, me and Grimey on time right now. Me and Grimey on time. You need to try and close your mouth with them big ass piano keys in there, bro. But if I ever were to get veneers, I'm going to an actual professional. Not no motherfucker who clicks. Yes. I'm not a robot on their MacBook and was granted a veneer technician diploma. And you can always tell when a motherfucker got these dominoes in their mouth because they're blindingly white and all the same shape. Because breaking yeah. news, we have different teeth for different purposes. But these baddie individuals, they all get the just have straight. Oh my god. Breaks lining their gums. Moral of the story, get some Crest 3D white strips or just simply start brushing your funky ass.
I don't know, bro. This is crazy. Team. Now we gotta talk about Stanley Cups. Now for the longest time, holy time, this was the only Stanley Cup that. See, trends like this annoy me because I just I can't stand blind consumerism. It just something about it bugs me. I don't. I can't put in words. But like, why are you leaving the Target with seven pink Stanley Cups, bro? That just that just gets me tight. That just gets. I me was tight. aware of, but apparently these things are also called Stanley Cups and they drive people crazy. You got motherfuckers collecting these bitches like Sonic That's, rings, bro. Like, Isn't the whole point stupid. of these cups to be reusable? But yeah, you've got one for every calendar day. It's like, really sad bro. to see how consumerism continues to beat y'all asses Thank day in and day out. There are people fighting over these cups like some ducks for some bread. It's literally just the hydro flask epidemic all over again. Now we gotta talk about all these stupid ass tattoos people are getting. We've all seen the neck tattoos and face tattoos that have accumulated over the years. Specifically the limitless tattoos. Limitless, I've heard of Hall of Fame limitless range, but Hall of Fame limitless throat is one for the books. <laughs> I don't know what type of diddy-fied behavior has gotten into these niggas, but I pray to God that this man is never sent to prison because if them inmates get one oh, glance man. at that neck, he's gonna need a lifetime supply of ibuprofen. Yo, relax. <laughs> and most of the people that be out here getting face tattoos be looking like them fucking doodle bears from the mid 90s. And is it just me, or it seems like a new EDP variant is unveiled every 10 to 12 business days? Seriously, bro, the last time I seen this many predators was at my local zoo. But I think that's gonna wrap everything up for this video, man. Comment oh, down below God. the worst internet trends that you've seen. Like, subscribe yeah. if you're new. Let Talk me know what me. other what other trends I missed out on. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll make a part two. Hey, bro, W video. Oh my God. That was. Oh wait, I just got three. I just got three. I just got three. Alright y'all, that was my reaction to the dumbest internet trends by G Grimy or Grimy, I do not know. Eight push-ups, uh, catch y'all in the next one.